Greetings Earthlings, it's Ben Aqua. I am here today in Austin, Texas, trying out the iPhone 8 Plus with the Gian Smooth Q iPhone gimbal, which I know is a complete stupid contradiction from my last video where I was all saying how gear is not important. So just because I said gear isn't important, it doesn't mean the gear isn't fun as hell. I was using my trusty iPhone 6S Plus to shoot my last video. And for this video, I got myself an iPhone 8 Plus because I wanted to shoot video with that juicy 4K in 24 frames per second, which is what I shoot all my videos in. But let's check out some tests and see how this thing performs just kind of walking around. Let's go. like about this smooth Q is how lightweight this thing is. I feel like I could have this in my arm outstretched like this for a really long time. This with just a phone is just like such an easy way to just like shoot some vlogs, shoot some random b-roll, whatever. I mean my hand is shaking a lot right now so I'm curious to see what it looks like later. It looks like it's keeping it actually like super steady so I'm pretty impressed with this thing so far. $100 well spent. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> I look ridiculous. All right, now I'm just like walking around. No gimbal. This is just iPhone 8 Plus stabilized, hopefully a little bit. Got my arm out stretched. So you can see the difference between this and the Smooth Q. It, this thing makes a gigantic difference. Now you can see all my fat flapping around in 4K. I know y'all have been waiting for this moment. You just gotta get over looking ridiculous. If you're gonna do YouTube, you're gonna be part of this game. Woo. Woo. Now y'all can see all 18 of my chins, 4K quality. This camera's not very forgiving. All I can smell right now is dog poop. I either stepped in it or this gimbal comes with the free side of dog poop. I don't know. Sit. Her name's Pancake. <laughs> Pancake? Pancake. Awesome name. Oh, so sweaty. Oh, so sweaty. Y'all, this thing is smooth. What does the Q stand for, though, in smooth Q? Questioning? Quixotic? Quiz? Quizzical? Can't think of any other words that start with Q. But this is a little 
too close for comfort. I'm holding it about arm's length right now to the camera. Nobody needs to see all these details on my face. I mean, I didn't do my makeup that well today. If you start doing YouTube out in public, you just gotta get over social anxieties, people looking, whatever. I'm kinda used to people looking anyway, so it's not actually that huge of a deal. But this thing seems smooth. One of the kind of weird things about this I'm noticing so far is it's a little wobbly when you're like turning it left and you're turning a little bit right. Sometimes it's smooth, it's a little unpredictable, but it seems like there's some kind of like a glitch in the matrix, if you will. If you want to be in frame, you don't want your face to be like one inch away from the damn camera. You got to hold this thing all the way out so your arm can get a little tired after a while, but damn that foot is going to be buttery. So buttery you can like sprinkle it on a little bit of popcorn. If you use one of those clip-on lenses or like a moment lens or something like that, anything that weighs the camera down a little bit, the whole thing will go out of whack. So it's just something to consider. I'm about to get run over by a few bite cops. How's it going? He smiles at me. That about does it for my kind of walk around test of the Smooth Q with my iPhone 8 Plus. What do you think? Is this worth $100? I think it definitely is worth $100. I love just how smooth the footage is. It did take a little bit of calibration. It's, it's a little tricky to set up. You have to turn this little dial and move it out and get your phone in there centered. But once you do that, it's really easy to do. I think the Smooth Q is definitely worth $100. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it's worth $100? Should you save your money? Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this content useful. If there's some kind of test that you want me to do with the Smooth Q, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mmm, veggie burger.